So this video is going to be how to reconstitute the three main neurotoxins that we use. Um, Botox made by Allergan, Dysport made by Galderma, and Juvo, I forget who Juvo is made by, it doesn't matter, um, designed by Evelis. Okay. So, Botox and Dysport are reconstituted the exact same way. So first of all, all three products will come and are kept in the refrigerator. Um, you do not have to keep Botox in the freezer. We used to keep it in the freezer. It can be kept in the refrigerator. If you're going to keep vials of neurotoxin in a fridge at your office, I strongly recommend that you have a thermometer that tells you that you're maintaining temperature and that you keep a log of that because depending on who you get inspected by, whether it's Clea or Jayco or whatever, if you've got product in a fridge that you're gonna use on patients, they're gonna to wanna to see your log to make sure that your fridge stays at temperature. It also helps you know if something's gone wrong, you lose power overnight, um, you don't have a backup generator, you'll know that your product is still good to use if your um, fridge has maintained its temperature inside. Um, these are a crystallized powder, so it looks like the bottle is empty, there's no fluid in this. There is a powder in the very bottom, um, and you're gonna reconstitute these products with saline. Um, this is bacteriostatic saline. I strongly recommend using product that has preservative in it. Um, the original literature on these said to use preservative free. I will tell you then you can't store your product and keep it long enough, um, especially if you don't have a super busy um, clinic where you're gonna use it every once in a while on somebody. Once you've reconstituted this, if your saline has preservative in it, you can keep this in the fridge for up to a month and it's good to use. Um, it also interestingly changes the pH and so it does not hurt nearly as much um, when you inject it if it has preservative in it as opposed to preservative free. So we are using bacteriostatic saline to reconstitute. You do not want to force product through this lid. Um, the powder is delicate and that can damage the protein. And so with the my nurses are better at this than I am, but with the hemostat, I'm gonna pull this lid off. I used to be good at this when I did a lot of cosmetics, but. So we're gonna get this lid off. And then I'm gonna pop the stopper. <clears throat> and I've already wiped this off with alcohol. You're gonna use one CC to reconstitute both your Botox and your Dysport. The dilution for Jubo is a little bit different. And what I recommend you do actually is I recommend you draw up just a little bit more than one cc. So I'm gonna draw up like 1.1 or 1.2. So I'm going just a little bit beyond that one cc mark because if you just inject one cc, you can lose a little bit in the bottle and then you can lose a little bit of product. So we inject a little bit extra, gives us a little bit of wiggle room and it doesn't make a difference in your treatment. And then I'm gonna very slowly just carefully inject this down the side of the bottle. So I'm being really delicate with the powder, with the protein, so that I don't need to denature the protein. And then I'm gonna put the stopper back on and I'm just gonna roll this gently. You're not gonna shake it. You're just gonna roll it gently to pick up all that powder that was around the bottom of the vial. And now that is ready to inject and in that one cc you now have 100 units of botox we inject botox with these syringes these are bd insulin syringes they are the bd ultra fine um, they were hard to find for a little while they're back in stock now and you want to make sure that you're getting the eight millimeter or the five sixteenth inch length Sometimes these syringes come with a longer needle. You don't want that when you're injecting the face. 
And the reason why these are so nice to use, I will show you when I open the bag, is that these are pre-measured insulin syringes. And so when you draw up your product um, for Botox, one unit of Botox is in one unit of the syringe. So if I filled this all the way to 30, there would be 30 units of Botox in this syringe. So just to oversimplify for all you smart ladies. So that is five units of Botox. That is 10, that is 15, that is 20 and so on. Okay. Um, Disport is done the exact same way. So I'm going to swap this needle out if I have a new needle. I don't have a new needle. Okay, let's, yeah, I do. Hold on. Let me see what I can do with this. It's not a, it's not a perfect patient needle, but it'll probably work. So again, I'm going to draw it a little bit more than one cc. This will work for the stopper. Come on. Okay. And that is what I will use to reconstitute the disc port. And it's done the same way. So again, it's going to be powder. Now this, you can actually see the powder. Unlike the Botox where the bottle looks empty, you can see the disport powder. 